Hey everybody, it's Eric Norton. I'm back with Matt Bible, and we have a uh, 50th anniversary box break here to do of uh, Star Trek, the original series. Yes, indeed. Um, fan favorite. It's a, it was a big deal last week when the, when the actual 50th anniversary date yep. was, but we're here now breaking this. These are your boxes. You brought you bought these, so you brought them in so we could see what's in them, right? Yeah. So I should let I should let you do the opening. <laughs> we should be getting about three autographs in this box. Three um, autos per box. Rittenhouse is pretty good about the amount of autographs that you get in the uh, in these boxes. So we'll uh, see what we get. There, it's got pretty good uh, autograph stock. There's sketch cards. There's um, original cut uh, panels from comic the comic series. You got uh, Leonard Nimoy. Nice stack of cards. In too. memoriam. Okay. Uh, and those are about one every 300 packs so you're not going to get that many of those all right <laughs> if any so and right off the bat i got a mirror mirror um insert um it's the i believe it's the episode about you know where they go to the alternate universe and i got one Spock as well. has a beard i got one as well I'll show you mine love the design of the base cards these that's pretty nice cool die cut yeah nice die cut futuristic look to it four scenes on it from the episode, let me flip that over for you on the back, show you what it looks like. And here's the here's the base as well. I'll show you the back of one of those. Really clean, I like it. It's fun. Now, I'm assuming you were a big Star Wars fan? Or were you? Uh, I am a Star Wars fan, but I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, a Star Trek fan. Star Trek fan, my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I grew up with it, and um, what does doing in there? That's, that's a very thin plug. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, the original series, my brother, every time he'd come over to the house, he, we would watch Star Trek together. And, um, Star Trek's got me into technology. Is it a Force Kelly? Very much fitting into the technology. I don't know what that, you know what that's called? It's kind of an acetate feel. Let me see. Check it. Uh, I want to say it's the bridge crew. Don't, don't quote me on that. Okay. But it's it's pretty cool. It's you know, I like the acetate stuff. I've always liked acetate cards. Show the back. We're analysts, not doctors, Jim. <laughs> but uh, you know. Uh, one thing I like about Star Trek is is how it's motivated people. Oh, here, first autograph, Jeffrey Binney. If I if I remember, uh, if, well, he's got a red shirt, so he probably died in an episode. <laughs> and we got the back. It's kind of cool. It's got like a uh, like a authentic proof thing in the back of it. But. Yeah, the one thing that's cool about Star Trek is it's motivated a lot of scientists and engineers over the years to create the things that they saw on the show. Sure. You know, you, you look at all the gadgets, this is, this is, I mean, this has been the fascination for years about Star Trek is you look at a lot of the gadgets that were on the show in the 60s and now they're like, we actually have them. Like, you know, the flip phones now sure. used to be Kirk's communicators and the big screen TVs and, and things of that nature. Um, so we got a Sandy Gimple autograph here, uh, M113 creature. And that is a, that's the, let me see, is it the border? Yeah, that's the, that's a nice autograph, that's a nice signature. Yeah. It's uh, better than just a couple of squiggly lines or initials. <laughs> sure. This is, this is a clean looking set, I like this. Yeah, it's gonna make it interesting. You know, put put the set together. This, you know, it's probably like a. I want to say it's maybe ninety card base set. I can't remember exactly okay. exact number. Usually, written houses are seventy two, but it looks like there's more because I'm looking at seventy three, seventy four. Um, but uh, yeah, fiftieth anniversary. I, mean, I can man. Kind of, it's kind of scary to think that I'm, I'm you know, <laughs> just eight years short of that fifty, right? Now this was this was a show that was always on in my in my house. 
no matter what, my dad was a big Trek fan, so we watched every episode of the old series, the original series, uh, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, we watched all of that. It's definitely, it was, the, the original series was um, definitely ahead of its time. Here's, here's a, uh, I gotta show this base card because this is a, this is one of the most infamous episodes, City on the Edge of Forever. It's where McCoy gets sick and, and they, they discover this time portal on this planet and he leaps through it and they have to try to find him and he ends up somehow changing history. Oh wow. And uh, what do we got here? Ah, oh, here's the cage insert card. Yeah, I got the one as well. Yep. But yeah, City at Edge Forever's basically McCoy changes history and saves this woman's life who starts a civil rights movement ahead of its time. Okay. And, and the Nazis end up winning the war. Oh wow. And it changes the entire history of so they Kirk and Spock have to go back and figure out what happened and you know. Uh, yeah, one more pack left, so I'll let you go open yours. All right. I didn't. I haven't seen any green women on this one. I'm a little disappointed. No green women. A little Not disappointed. At all. Yvonne Craig played the original green woman oh. in the original Trek series. All right, last packs. Yep, last pack. Hopefully, another autograph auto or a sketch or something. Sketch an autograph, a letter Nimoy in memoriam, and doesn't look like I'm getting it. So doesn't look like I'm getting it either. You're not getting it. Let's look here. I always look. Here's the here's the base card for Mirror Mirror. Right there. So, uh, it doesn't have Spock though with his beard. Ah, and here's another infamous episode: The Trouble with Tribbles. <laughs> yes, a good one. That is uh, <laughs> one of those wonderful, wonderful episodes. I'm going to throw my autograph out there, a couple of the inserts I got, so you guys can see them. Oops, One get last a whole time. Full base set. Okay. Probably out of that, but um, there we go. There's McCoy, and there's my autograph. Cool. I do like I do like the autographs. Rittenhouse always has pretty good autographs, and they're they're on card too. Yeah, that's the big thing. They're on card. Um, that's one of the things I love about non sports is a lot of the autograph products, especially with you know Star Trek and a lot of the superhero stuff. It's always on card. I mean, the silver it really pops off the black. Sure. I like that. I like how these are signed in blue on the white. Yeah. They really know how to. Um, Put together a really good uh, compilation for for autographs. You know, and they they know how to make the colors stand out. And yeah, it, it really makes the set uh, agreed. Set better. So. Agreed. So guys, that's what we think. Why don't you tell us what you think down below? So next time, I'm Eric, and I'm Matt. Just keep ripping.